Remodeling a house with your spouse is no easy feat, especially when one of you wants to flip the place and one of you wants to make it your forever home. Which one of us will get our way? There's only one way to find out. I'm Robin Bond and this is Flipped Out. Hello everyone, welcome back to Flipped Out. As you may recall, last week we scraped off those popcorn ceilings, we've replaced the garage doors, and our house is looking like a whole new abode. Yeah, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I believe we are finally, finally in the home stretch. No, I don't think so. We still have a long way to go. Wait, really? Yes, we've got a long way to go before we can sell this house. Uh, or live in it, you mean? Uh, sure, okay. Well, either way, we've still got to replace countertops, cabinets, lighting, window treatments. Uh, networking equipment, You're gonna get me some Wi-Fi. Oh my goodness, okay, so we are going to talk this week about flooring. Flooring is going to make such a difference in this house, so join along and see what we've done. I love wood flooring for both its beauty and durability. I would have put it in most of the house, but if you notice, our great room has that sunken style that was so popular in the 1980s. The original homeowner had thrown in vinyl planks everywhere throughout the house. I think vinyl plank works in certain situations, but it was doing nothing for this home. Plus, before we started demo, I had a couple of people come to check out the house. After several people went tumbling into the great room from the entryway, it became crystal clear that I needed a specified tile throughout the entry. This would allow for a visual break and make it more apparent to our guests that the great room is sunken. I like carpet on staircases. It's a safe choice and allows for some fun. I love how this pattern carpet adds visual interest and punch. Wow, the house is really starting to look so much sleeker. And I think the new flooring is a huge part of that new look. I agree. It's taken advantage of the mid-century modern style the house already had, and it looks so much more upscale. Wait, in the, supposed to be tile in the bathrooms? Yes, there's tile in the bathrooms as well, and I picked a modern tile to play off the floors. So I show that we are doing the uh, the mix of the these two patterns into our shower. And is there a type of pattern that we want to do with these, or are they just going to be completely random? So the we'll talk about doing a, just an accent wall on the back. Okay, wall with the tile that has the pattern to it. Okay. So that would be this yes. horseshoe type pattern. And I believe it just lays out in like almost a stripe with the circles from what I remember. Right. What is this one? Yeah, that's the flat tile. Um, so same color, same style, just um, just in flat. Okay, I think we have a white. It's a white instead. Did 1224? Yeah. 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 So that one, I don't know how that one got in there because we have the penny for the floor. Okay. This is why we do a review. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, folks, so we have to give a huge, huge shout out to the crew that's been working on our house. They're doing an amazing job at lightning speed. We could not be happier. I agree. They are doing such a fantastic job. And I can't wait to show you next week the cabinet installation. And then, hey, we're almost done. No, we're not almost done. We still have a long way to go. So just strap in and join us next week on Flipped Out. I'm Robin. And I'm Darren.